An important aspect to developing data products is having a way to create interactive maps. Leaflet is a JavaScript library and then there is an associated Leaflet package for R that makes use of this JavaScript library to create interactive maps within your R environment and it's especially convenient within RStudio because it brings it up in the RStudio window. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and go through some leaflet examples and get you started with just the, with the bare minimum to get going on this and I think you'll be able to extend it rather quickly. So, and I should say there's several other ways to create interactive maps. We'll, we'll, you know, Google Viz is another one. Uh, and, and so I think leaflet is worth covering on its own just because it's so, uh, it's, you know, it's so widely accepted and widely used among the R crowd. But again, I would also say look up, you know, in our Google Viz lecture, we'll also talk about creating maps using Google Viz, which directly access Google Maps. And there's still some other ways, but I think those two might be the two most popular. So you want to make sure you install it first. I won't go through this, just install that packages leaflet. Now let's just go through a code example where we create our first leaflet map in R. So here I have the R Markdown document for the next couple of slides. Or I have the whole R Markdown document, but here's uh, the code for the next couple of slides. It has two se separate sections, one that just displays it as code and one that, a separate one that evaluates it. So you have to call library leaflet, and then let me just run these three commands, and then um, we'll talk about them. So the first thing I want to comment on, so, so I ran the commands, and there you can see your map, and then you can zoom in, of course as much as you'd like. So it is a, and this is in the R Studio viewer pane. So it's not a plot, it's in the kind of um, uh, browser viewer that's in, uh, in R Studio. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to mention is something that we're gonna use heavily in these set of lectures, which is the piping notation. So what this code basically is equivalent to is imagine if I wrote out my map is leaflet, okay. Oh. And then my map is add tiles my map. Okay, so let me get rid of my map over here and then run these three lines. Okay, and you'll see it does the same thing, it generates the same map. So this code right here, right, is identical to this code right here. That's what the piping notation is doing, it's taking uh, this output my map and then piping it to this next command, adding it as the first argument and then reassigning it to the, to the um, variable here, okay? So, and that's a lot cleaner code and easier to read once you get used to it than what I had written below. Okay, so the first part leaflet uh, just kind of generates the map and then the add tiles is, is adding the first set of content. And we'll talk in a little bit about how to actually do some useful things like add markers and, and so on. So, but just first try to do this, just generate a world map, zoom around, make sure you can install the leaflet library. And this is step one. And then now we'll go on to some more interesting things.